Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk about the dip. This is going to be a very interesting one. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and personal branding strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you transform your expertise and life experience into a brand story that connects and sells. And today I wanted to talk about the dip. Not the kind that you have at a party and uh, not the kind that you do in a pool. I wanted to talk about the entrepreneurial dip. You may or may not be familiar with it, but from what I'm seeing and hearing from people, I think a lot of people are familiar with it. It's the highs and lows of, uh, of your bank account, <laughs> uh, to put it so bluntly. Um, you know, unless you have a regular marketing system that is attracting clients to you, Most entrepreneurs, when they start their business, um, fall into this category where you go through these highs and lows, or maybe you're just going through lows and you haven't discovered um, what your client attraction strategy is. And I wanted to talk about marketing uh, for this particular reason because I think that there's a lot of things that I see people doing that uh, could be complicating the process and adding to this um, this high and low uh, and dip experience that everyone is having. And I mean, let's just be honest, nobody wants to uh, have their bank account um, be empty. And, you know, uh, first of all, I'm just going to start by saying as an entrepreneur, you know, it's the same as like if you were a freelancer. Until you get your footing and have a client attraction strategy, sorry, until you have a client attraction strategy, you are, uh, you are going to, you know, when you get money, it's not like having a job and you can't expect, uh, you know, you can't count on the next paycheck. So, you know, if you were just starting your business, you need to understand that until you gain your footing, you know, it's about like minimizing your expenses, understanding what your expenses are, what are your business expenses, what money is actually going out, you know, are you paying for your email list, are you, what are you paying for, are you, are, did you hire a VA, are you paying for lead pages, you know, there's all these little things that uh, as, a, as a non-business owner, you know, someone that has a job, you never have to think about, but now, you know, your money story is a lot more than just the clients you're attracting. It, it's, it's the big picture. So that's number one. Number two is marketing. So, you know, many people, uh, and, and, you know, everybody, everybody is new to being an online business person. You know, online is very new, and there's a, just a lot of noise out there. And so... Uh, what ends up happening, I see that most people are doing, if, if you are struggling with your income and client attraction strategy or struggling to keep it consistent, is that, uh, you know, so many people are teaching so many different things, you know, build a list, um, you know, do webinars, have a funnel, do all those things. And are all of those things marketing? Yes, they are. Do you actually need to do them all? No, you actually don't. So, you know, before you're like, no, before you say, no, you know, I really do need to do this. You need to understand that uh, marketing is a process of understanding, you know, what is it that your solar foundation is? What is it that you do in your business? What are you good at? What do you want to be known for? What is your long-term goal? Then who is it that you sell to? Who hears your message, wants to buy what you sell? Um, What position are they in? Do they have money? Are you speaking to the right audience? What makes them buy? So you have to understand the two opposite ends of the the entity. You know, you have something you want to sell, and those people have a problem that they need to solve. It's not that they, they want to spend money. It's that they have a problem that they need to solve. So, you know, then, that's before you decide, I'm going to build an email list, I'm going to do all that, you need to understand those two ends, the foundation and then the target. 
then that foundation, which is you and your goals, what is your overall goal of your business? You know, some people call it your body of work, your legacy. You know, I know that sounds really grand. You know, I'm, you're thinking, I just want to do a webinar and launch this thing. But that's why, you know, that entrepreneurial dip happens is that people are just thinking short term. You know, I'm just going to put this program together and I'm going to launch it and then I'm going to make money and then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do then. And I'm going to, and it becomes like this, uh, you're on a hamster on a wheel. And at no point then can you actually take a break and get off of that wheel because you're just stuck in this whole cycle. And then to complicate it, I see people spending so much time on Facebook that fear sets in and you start to go, oh my God, I need to learn that. Or why are they getting, you know, more? I know this firsthand. You know, when I started my business, uh, it took me a few months to understand what online was all about. Then I started to make a, a lot of money. And to be honest with you, you know, I, I come from the corporate world. So, um, you know, funnels and things like that, like I, that just, online was new. And so I, all I did for my marketing, I, I didn't, I don't believe in email lists. You know, I know, I know you should have one, but I didn't focus on building a list. I focused on providing value to people so I could sell my program and get clients. So, you know, I didn't do video for the first year of my business. I only, you know, my strategy was to provide value, write articles, and do teleclasses. That's all I did. I didn't do, I didn't do anything else. And because of it, you know, I, I made five figures consistently month after month after month. And it wasn't until I decided to take a step back and then I, fear set in because then I started to see other people that were doing all these other things, you know, doing their funnels and, you know, they're talking about all these things. And did I need to add, I mean, are all those things good? Sure, they're good, but they weren't my strengths. So I started to dive into trying to learn all those things. And it was like everything I was doing fell apart, everything that was my strengths. And I lost the focus of what it is that uh, was my end goal, my body of work, until uh, at a certain point I, I created this 30-day challenge called Master Your Money Code, and it, it changed everything for me. In fact, it changed a lot of lives, and uh, it, today, you know, sometimes I talk about it and it brings tears to my eyes because uh, people really started to understand what their body of work was and the things that really did matter in their marketing. So they were able to take a step back from the craziness that's being taught out there and really understand what their own individual strengths were. So a marketing strategy that works, first of all, starts with that foundation, your target, and then it has a plan. So this is something that uh, many people don't don't teach or understand because they're caught up in this uh, on this hamster wheel. But uh, Charles Duhigg he wrote uh, The Power of Habit, and he's coming out with a new book. I, I can't think of the name of it. Work smarter, faster, or something. And he said this quote that I think is very uh, just genius. And he said, "Anyone can be creative as long as they have a a, a plan." He was saying that. As long, you know, creativity, it, it's, uh, it, it, it's like what Stephen Pressfield was talking about, you know, like the, the resistance thing. It's very difficult to be creative on demand. And sometimes it's not enough just to set up a habit because you can, you know, creativity by definition is anything, you know. I can go be creative, you know, running in the grass. I can be, go be creative doing anything. So being creative actually has to have a, um, a, a template. Like it actually has to have a plan and a container. So I hate this word, but this is really what it is. It's boundaries so that it's kind of like then you 
build your own box. So I don't believe, you know, you should sit in somebody else's box. You build your own box and then you're able to bounce around in it and create all these different ideas. But within that box, within that container, so that your end goal is, is your end goal. And all the creative ideas that you're having move you towards that end goal. Then you decide, how do I market this end goal to the people that I speak to? So let me just take an example. Like what I'm doing now, Facebook Live. If you are a horrible speaker and you don't look good on video and you don't communicate well on video, then Facebook Live is probably not a strategy for you. Despite what everyone is saying, despite, you know, being out there all the time and, you know, despite, oh my God, you know, you can reach so much, so many more people. If that's not a strategy that works for you, then it doesn't work for you. Webinars, you know, do your ideal clients watch them? Because if they don't, then, you know, uh, should you be doing webinars? No, probably not. Um, you know, should you have an email list? Yes. Should you focus on it? I don't know. Are people opening your emails? Are you talking to the right list? So all those questions need to be asked. And, and then, you know, as I said in, in the title, you know, designing it for you, you need to figure out through a systemized process what works for you. So, you know, it's kind of like, uh, like a pinball machine. You have your, you know, you have the container and then you kind of like, does this work? And you, you, you know, you try, you try and maybe it's not working. So you're able in that container to pivot, but you're still within your container of your body of work. So you're not straying from what it is that you actually do and what you specialize in and what you want to be known for. You're just changing the general uh, way that you're getting it out this way you know, um, I, I'm going to say this kind of uh, a little gently, but what's protected within that container then is your, is your self-esteem because you're understanding that the, you have a greater goal. So if one, one thing that you're doing, you know, if you, Facebook Live doesn't work for you, then you're not like crushed and like, oh my God, and like I see some people doing, and then you reel back and then you don't put anything out. No, because you understand that there's a greater goal. That's the purpose of having a plan and having a strategy that works for you. So, so I'll give you an example. So, you know, I have a, um, my position to sell clients and how I'm getting them to their end goals is very different. One of them, I, I helped her with conquer, conquer a health condition that she was having that was preventing her from, um, from doing her business. It was, it was a, a deep-seated fear and panic uh, anxiety that she would get every time she would try to do something. And we, and we actually hacked it, not only through the story she was telling herself, but through her diet. Um, and then now we're working on her marketing plan. We, we created her solid foundation, wrote her, her story, her message, wrote all of her copy. And then, you know, with another one of my clients, my position to sell clients, you know, we're working on her, her marketing strategy. She didn't need, you know, the health thing. She's got that all ordered out. We've figured out her, her story. And she's, like, rocking it out. You know, everybody, you know, it's like kind of like ordering off a Chinese menu. You know, you know, email, uh, Facebook Live, all those different things. And you kind of pull down different things, see what works, what fits together. That's called strategy. It's a Venn diagram, a Venn diagram, you can look it up on, um, on the internet. It's like three circles that overlap, and where they overlap in the center is you. And then where they overlap, like the actual overlaps, are the things that you do. And then everything else, it's just everything else. It doesn't really matter. That's why, you know, people that are trying to learn from, like, Facebook and Facebook groups, you're getting so many different things that are being input into your brain that aren't even, don't even matter to you. And it's not that, that those people don't matter. They don't matter to you. I don't see anybody else going to bed at night and having to put their head on your pillow and face themselves in the mirror and say, I'm proud of you, except for you. 
So that being said, you know, um, I, I put a link there. You can download your free marketing te- plan template. It's very basic and simple. You know, could we go more in depth? Yes, but this is, you know, a free template. And then tomorrow, I'm launching something really amazing. It's called Master Money Codes 3.0. And uh, see, I'm getting all teary-eyed. You can read the sales page tomorrow. It goes way more in depth. But uh, this is designed to master your money code. And, and what that means is that it's, it's, not, it's not about money. Uh, we're going to be focusing on what matters, your body of work, and then build it up. And then the last two weeks, we're going to focus on client generation, marketing, and the different ways that, that uh, you can um, build your business and build your marketing plan. So if, you, if you've taken Master Your Money Code before, I, I actually think that it would be more beneficial this time. And there's going to be live coaching. Uh, you're going to have me watching over you every single day um, and advising you and directing you on, on the direction that you should go. You know, I'm about getting people results. And if you read the testimonials in there, <laughs> I, I don't know. It just uh, floors me. So anyway, uh, watch for that tomorrow. Uh, come join me at the Genius Collective. Download your free marketing plan. And uh, I also have you know, a couple of other things. You want to go look at the Genius Library at TotalGenius.net. That's it. Please share this with a friend because I know a lot of people need this. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.